Dude, I know. I haven't texted you back because in the 10 seconds it takes, make that 12 seconds it takes, my kid literally does this. <gasps> no, 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 no. That's cheese on the floor. I would love a night out. And in theory, a babysitter can be bought, but in reality, my husband has to sleep in a big girl's bed. And I'm still a late night watering hole. Let's do day. Tomorrow, post nap or pre nap. Okay, just name a time. Two? Kids will be sleeping. Great? No, not great. Nap time is the hour of gold I need to body shower, pretend I work during business hours, and clean up shredded cheese. I need to multitask you. You're here! I'm not closing the door on you. That's my toddler. She has a lot of energy. And it's not your fault, but you didn't bring a kid to entertain her. So I have to go half season this conversation or else she'll melt down in front of you. I'm completely stressed, but don't worry, I'm listening. Wait, no, I'm actually thinking about all the free time you have. It's so weird. You could leave here, drive to Vegas, see Britney Spears, or even take a nap. <sighs> Wait, what? what's happening? My daughter is trying to ride my son. You are going to be really strict with your kids. That's cool. I secretly hope you get a bad sleeper. I know, we used to talk on the phone every night. Look, I just read eight books and I'm only capable of watching Shark Tank. But unlike you, Lori, I am not out because I really do still love you. And in a few years, I'll make it all up to you with some bad advice from someone who will never judge. Presley, no, that's disgusting. You.